You already know what it is, YouTube, and if you didn't know, you better find out because this is your boy, Division, and we back again with another video. This time is going to be a subscriber request. I'm doing another subscriber request this time, y'all, and this time I am actually checking out a YouTuber named Joseph Vincent who does documentaries on different athletes, and this time we're going to be checking out uh, Francis Naganu video. It's gonna be a documentary about his um I'm not sure. Not sure, but I guess it's a documentary about Francis. It's called The Predator, a knockout retrospective. That's what it's called, y'all. Um we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video. Um I don't have any idea what it what it could be, but before we go ahead and get started, I want y'all to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, please. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm loving the growth, loving the, the views, loving the love I'm getting on these videos for real, y'all. And I need y'all to keep supporting, and I'm going to keep dropping the videos as long as y'all liking them. Leave comments below. Let me know some other stuff I can react to, some fights you want me to see, some compilations you want me to see, some knockouts you want to see, different fighters you want me to check out do that for you also I'm really thinking about um, doing some um, other um, promotion videos too so let me know what other promotions got some good fighters name some guys from some of the other things Bellator one um, pride um, whatever is out there I don't know but just let me know down below what you think and without any further ado let's get right into this video y'all Francis Naganu the predator a knockout retrospective Francis and Garner. All right, it's Nganu. My bad, y'all. I've been saying Nganu. Woo! Damn, right in the back of the head. Bing! The Ouch! Oh! Bing! Oh, man. Saw his life flash before his eyes, man. Woo! Literally a one in a million type athlete. We're dealing with a guy who's capable of knocking any heavyweight unconscious with one punch that connects. Damn! Oh! Shit! Gave him whiplash. There go that ref again. And got All right. success was anything but preordained. Perhaps it's easiest to start in his native Cameroon. Born in Cameroon, Francis was raised in the poorest of conditions. Shoveling sand in the local quarry, Jeez. Francis endured grueling work to help support his family. You worked in a sand mine when you were young. So you dug sand all day. I was like 26 years old, like when I understood that uh, there is no chance for me out here in Cameroon. I mean, you want to talk about a man who persevered. That guy, for 14 months, he made his way from Cameroon to Morocco and seven times got arrested and sent back and finally made it across to Europe. After illegally crossing the border into Spain, he was detained for two months. They will bring you Damn. to Spain side. They will hang you to a immigration police. You don't care. You finally wait. I had no idea he like illegally immigrated. That is crazy. This man was determined to get to make a way to make a way for himself for his family to create a life for himself and that's dope i really like that okay. hey you you wanted to be at age 26 he moved to paris and embarked on his dream of mma glory sleeping in homeless shelters by night wow. and training by day his story is just like so inspiring it's incredible it's a comic book story the only thing that i want is some place that i can train because I want to become a world champion. He debuted in 2013. Sheesh! Overpowering Benzema, Francis won his first match by submission. First time I was 27 and I went to the gym. I'm like, um, started to do boxing. I'm done like, okay. <laughs> so if you need the faster income to help you get out in your situation, you have to do MMA. Then I'm like, what's MMA? He quickly realized he was blessed with God-given gifts that could change the course of his life. Facts. The next one, I get paid like uh, 2,000 euros. Whoa, what I you happy, right? Yes. 
Man, oh my god, he went down like a board. Timber! A single blast Damn. secured Francis a second victory. How did how did it feel then as you you're starting to live your dream now? He lost the decision in his first few fights, but it was a minor speed bump. It almost feels like it's a bunch of individual missions, right? Like get to the next one, then the next one, then the oh, next it's one. Oh, it's an individual mission. Every step is a mission. No. He was this kicked his legs from under him. That was just oh man, and take his head off. Center, spectacular way. Uh, Literally taking his head off. <laughs> it was all encompassing. <laughs> it lasted like before, 30 the seconds. Fight comes along, so just blistering people all over the place. Focused a lot on his body. They brought in a new wrestler, which is going to be about staying at distance with Engano. You got to think his game plan was rooted in getting this clinch, and he's got it all. Taking bout duty to the ground, Francis was simply too strong. His hands are so big. Every time I shake his hands, I'm like, how is that a person? <laughs> I mean, it's like it's like shaking hands with a brick, like a giant brick. They're just so big. Another overwhelming victory set the Predator on a course for the UFC. My birthday and my coach uh, called me. I'm like, guess what? I'm like, I don't know, tell me. He you was know, like, yeah, uh, we just got your USA contract. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. In the first US, US, UFC fight is Luis Enrique. I think we um, went over that in the first video. But. Making his UFC debut, Francis put the sport on alert. And you're starting to see Enrique go for the shot because he's tired on the feet. And that's the truth. And Gano with oh, serious no. Oh, no. Oh. The upper cut oh. contorted Enrique's face Martin? Oh. and ended the fight. Facial reconstruction oh. service needed. It is all over! Knockout! Francis Gano! Wow! Vicious uppercut! Serious, serious power from Gano. By knockout, Francis the Predator and Gano! In his next fight, Francis was pitted against undefeated Curtis Blades. You know, he only really come to the limelight in his later athlete's life, should I say. But I think that's that's one of the big shames about if that's a, a, his real not birth maybe being as big as last name, as that's a dope ass last name. Is one of the most Blades. Blades. You could like a video game yeah. character. Oh, and he just got knocked out. Oh, Matt, he may not recover from that. He won't. He done. Oh, he got up. I'm wrong. Just a few good shots. He done lasted. You know, he mat, la lasted at least two rounds. Maybe. It appeared tried to stop this fight, and the referee said he can see. But he says he can't see. The doctor is stopping the fight. Francis, the predator, Gano. Damn. Yeah, I don't think. Well, at least you ain't getting knocked out, bro. More than he has in the short time he's been in the sport. This string of destructive wins made Ngano a rising star. Chrissy Gano is a dangerous man. A versatile fighter though, Mihailovic. He's getting chased down. A big hammer fist. This could end Gano. Another quick finish. This time with a series of hammer fists. Yeah, hammering dude's face in. UFC is the name that everybody knows. If you're the heavyweight champion of the UFC, it means so much more for your exposure globally. Hamilton thought he'd be able to use his wrestling experience to subdue the Predator. Dude, this dude thought he was wrestling. Thought he was going to wrestle. Anthony Hamilton. He really does believe that he's seen Charlene. But also wants to open up with those hands. Which oh. As much as he can do to set benefits him. I mean, he spent his entire life wrestling. Right. Still goes back to wrestle with his old college team. Look at the strength of Ngannou. Forcing is... Hamilton's <laughs> arm behind his back. Anthony Hamilton is not a weak man. But wow. Man, this guy is super strong. Look at this. He has he got it. Wow. Francis Ngannou by 
Submission round one. It was becoming. No, imagine if I'm a grown man. I've never been outpowered. I mean, I've never been in a fight with someone like Francis, but I've never been, never felt like I even know anybody who could outpower me like that. Like that, that's nutty. Like the fact that he just grabbed dude's arm and just wrapped that motherfucker all the way like around his back forcefully like that. That is, that is nuts. Like <laughs> that's power. That's power. And clear, Francis, because that's a different kind of power. He's yeah. one of those contenders that you look at and go, oh my god, when this guy's champion, he is going to be massive. He had spectacular knockouts on his way up. The hype surrounding Nganu was growing. Number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Francis the Predator Nganu! Fans were pumped to watch the Predator hunt his prey. Coach Fernand Lopez. The MMA factory is here. They bring it, guys. Oh. Bam. Another first round KO. That's the dude from the very beginning. But yeah, that's crazy. Knocked him out in the first round. Like, these dudes don't even stand a chance against the Predator. And we might be staring at a future UFC heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, imagine if they caught him when he was 20. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, imagine that guy. A much anticipated super fight with number one contender Alistair Overeem was set. But, but you saw what he did to Overeem. Mm. K1 Grand Prix champion, dream champion, strike force heavyweight champion. Francis put him into orbit. Overeem was a legend, an absolute beast. 43 professional wins, 21 knockouts or TKOs, 12 stemming from a kick or a knee, 17 wins by submission in that mix tonight. And for Alistair Overeem, his 60th professional MMA fight. Boom, perfect. Oh, fight. no. An oh, no. That would make Mike Tyson smile. Snapped Overeem's head back. Whiplash. Like, no, that might, you might as well be in a car accident right there. First round. Oh, my. Yo, yo, yo. Predator had won in spectacular fashion. Francis would get his title shot against the champion, Stipe Miocic. Great I mean, story. if anybody else other than Stipe, Stipe's so tough and skilled and kept away from him. Stipe Miocic was coming off his fourth straight first round knockout win. Good head movement by Stipe. Better shoot again, though. Oh! Both thought the powerhouse no. in Ganu would oh, okay. KO the aging champ. Yeah. But Stipe was able to do what others couldn't. Oh, Stipe getting him. Put in Ganu on the mat and keep him there. Beautiful contact. And this is where we see what Ngannou is made of. Side control. This is where Stipe is looking to dominate the entire fight from this position right here. Ngannou's ground game was simply not developed enough to combat this. And this is what we haven't seen from Ngannou. Ngannou's Just the Curtis Blades fight. I get to the game. They are standing and cheering in Boston. Okay, so he lost this fight. Okay. So this dude actually conquered the Predator. kept Nganu on his back for five rounds and secured the surprising upset decision win. The champion Ngannou won by upset. Next That's crazy. In similar fashion. Then he lost again to this brother. Damn. This would force the Predator to push his game to the next level. Francis is a great MMA fighter, but he's been fighting for five years. Yeah. He just hits unbelievably yeah. hard. I can't believe that you said he got 120 or 1,000 on that I think you're like 120 something. I think, we'll find out what it's. 129, that's so crazy! Wow. With each passing year, Nganu continued to morph his training into an all encompassing regimen. 
His hands are so big. Every time I shake his hands, I'm like, how is that a person? I mean, it's like it's like shaking hands with a brick, like a giant brick. They're just so big. Returning to face Curtis Blades again, the pressure was on in Ganu. A win would put him back on track. But another loss. He got to go against Blades again. Saw the end of his title dream. This main event, this rematch between Curtis Razor Blades and Francis the Predator and Garnu. But he told me that Curtis Blades it is all I need to Damn. do. Damn! <laughs> and Garnu destroyed Blades. And Garnu's powering it! Oh, this is bad news! That's it! Francis Damn! Garnu. Bro, that fight lasted. That fight was literally lasted like 30 seconds. That's nuts. If that, if that, if that, like he literally took dude out He's quick. Who's he beating? Quick work. How? Because he beat Arlovsky. It's not who he beats. See how he beats him. Oh, Knock him, him out, dude. He's so big. King Velasquez. I'm looking to wrestle by grabbing that lead leg and making Big and Ganu balance on one leg. Watching Ganu's right hand. And Kane's head. It oh. happens quick, but the uppercut ends this match before it can even begin. Another one. Another one. The Predator had pasted another opponent in the first round. Oh my goodness. And Ganu was now starching people left and right. In a much tight match against Junior Dos Santos, the Predator pounced. Did you see Francis and Ghana knock out Junior Dos Santos? Yeah, I didn't even think it was a real knockout. He just blushed him. Look at him. He hit him and he went down and held his head. Let him fight it out. With Listen, Gallo. that fight was over. And with that touch of blood here on the way to the spot box, it's brought to you by Toyo Tires. Mm. And Ghana immediately goes low with that cap kick and lands. The him, ear. Clipped him. He clipped him, rocked him, Boom. put him down, Jaw. pounded on his head. Oh no. He's done. Is he done? He's done. Same ref again. Nobody's answered my question about that ref either. Yet another first round dismantling. Francis the Predator and God. Holding a perfect professional record. Hmm? Ten wins, no losses. What? Wait, 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 wait. Perfect professional. What? Well, he ain't. I don't know what country he's from, but that is. I've never seen a black guy with a name like that. Somebody left. What? That's crazy. No record. Ten wins, no losses. Yes, and go, Biggie Boy Rosenstrand. What country is he from? Would test Ganu, pushing him to his limit. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was another. The name looks very European to me. It, I think he he African. It's an African country, but that looks a that's a very European name, like Eastern European. Just my opinion. He got knocked the fuck out. Vicious first round Holy knockout. Cow. And Ganu would finally get his shot to avenge his loss to Stipe. Yes. Idol fights, man, are the best. And this is the biggest of the big. This yes. is the heavyweight title and the scariest contender against the greatest oh. champion. Right, right. That is hard. And Francis has got to be careful to not load up and leave these big open. Oh, no. He can... Fuck. Unlike the previous fight. And Ganu was better prepared to prevent any takedown attempt. In the second round, Stipe was blasted and sent stumbling to the ground. Fold him like a chair. Jeez! UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator 
Eight years after beginning MMA training, Nganu was the heavyweight champion of the world. The undisputed baddest man on the planet. Nganu defended his title one time before a beef with Dana White put his career on hold. Nganu recognized his own market value. He walked away from the UFC to yeah. challenge the heavyweight boxing champion, Tyson Fury. To have your first boxing match ever against... He should have won, man. I ain't seen the whole fight. I saw a lot of the highlights, and I saw a lot, a lot of people uh, saying he should have won that fight. But apparently you got to really beat the champion, like, not just have a good outing against him. You got to beat the champion decisively, and he didn't. That's what I'm hearing. He was facing this fight was thought to be a joke. Only Nganu wasn't playing. No. He's the baddest dude on the planet. He's the baddest dude on the planet. 100%. And the only person that has a chance, a chance is, John, is John, Jones. John Jones. I can't show much of this. Top Rank loves to abuse copyright claims. But essentially, Nganu outboxed Fury. But surprise, corruption awarded the decision to the Gypsy King. The Gypsy King! In the third, he dropped the Gypsy King with a counter, scoring a knockdown on the best boxer alive. Yeah, I saw that highlight. That's crazy. Kindly, the ref granted Tyson Fury a solid 40-second breather before allowing the action to resume. And what happened in that fight was Francis Ngannou beat the best heavyweight boxer maybe ever. Maybe yeah. ever. Right. The look on Tyson Fury's eyes when he went down in the third round from that left hook, he was like, oh, Jesus. A one-point decision on the third card. Winner by split decision. Still undefeated from the United Kingdom, the WBC heavyweight. He won that he won fight. That. They know he won that fight. He won on one judge's scorecard who was honest, and I think the judge only gave him one round, where I think he should have given him two. Should have won by more than, more than one point. We wait anxiously to witness his next feat of greatness. Literally a one in a million type athlete. We're dealing with a guy who's capable of knocking any Bing. heavyweight unconscious oh, he missed that one. with one punch that can. Bing. Oh! Oh! It's all Rosen strike is out. Whoa! And got him. Out, out bad. Out cold. Holy oh, smoke! Francis and Ganu, the predator. Nobody brings it home like it should. Nobody. Make it so. All right, y'all. Um, Joseph Vincent, keep doing these videos. I'm really like I really like this one. Um, I'm finna watch a lot of these. I hope he do more. Um, does more um, MMA videos. I see there's a John Jones one. I'm gonna have to react to John Jones real soon. But y'all. Francis Naganu, just like I said in the first video, dude is an absolute beast, like unbelievable. And like like Joseph Vincent said, he should have won the boxing match against um, Fury. Honestly, uh, it was a, it was a steal, it was a, a steal of the century. Honestly, and we just all need to be uh, happy that we have fighters like this that we can watch and, enter and be entertained by because Francis is a once in a lifetime fighter uh ufc champion and probably soon soon to get a belt in boxing i, I won't i won't be surprised if he gets to challenge somebody else if he gets to challenge the uh, the the chinese guy i think he's chinese or he's the asian guy i don't know exactly what nationality is the asian champion or uh, one of the other you know there's all types of organizations in boxing um I would not be surprised if we see a boxing championship belt on Francis very soon. Some more high profile matches with some of the more famous boxers around the world. And I really want to see him go back to the um, to the UFC. I would love to see a matchup between him and um, John Jones um, or anybody. I, I just want to see more action. And 
I'm really loving this journey, y'all. For real, I'm really loving the journey. These videos are fun to do, and I love interacting with you guys. Keep commenting down below. Please subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. Help this channel um, get up to who knows where in the future. But I'm going to stop talking y'all ears off. And we're going to get on out of here, y'all. Like I always, be safe. Give it y'all. And I'll see you next time. Peace.